this is Dio. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about Dio Nabi process. First, we need to go over Dio Nabi workflow. It all starts when a clinic first places an order on the Dio Nabi website by uploading a CT file and an oral scan file of a patient. When the order is placed, the Dionavi Center receives the order and starts planning the surgery by merging the CT and the oral scan files together. After the planning is confirmed with the doctor, the Dionavi Center starts designing the guides. After the guide design is completed, based on the customs order and the implant position set in the planning stage, the prosthetics such as stock abutments, customized and digital abutments, temporary crown, and abutment jigs will be designed. The dental lab will then print the prosthetics. And after they are printed, Everything is now ready for delivery. In the delivery box, depending on what was ordered on the Dionabi website, all the products that are manufactured, such as stock abutments, customized and digital abutments, temporary crown, and or abutment jigs will be sent, along with the surgical guide and a surgery protocol. Sometimes, the surgery report and drilling protocol are also included in the box. If they're not, they can be downloaded from the Dionabi website that you've ordered from. Before going into the surgery, you must check the operating room. Check the general environment of the operating room to see if everything is set, sterilized, and ready. Next, attach a copy of the Dionabi protocol inside the operating room. After that, you must prepare the kits. There are several Dionabi kits such as Dionabi Master Kit, Narrow Kit, Sinus Kit, Special Kit, and Wide Kit. These kits are used in different situations. The narrow kit is used when placing narrow implants. Crystal sinus kit is used when placing implants in a sinus location. And Dionabi special kit is used when placing full arch implants with guide pins and fixed pins to hold the guide. And the wide kit is used to place wide implants. But the basic kit you'll be using is the Dionabi Master Kit. With this kit, you can place implants of these dimensions. Implants with diameter of 3 mm to 5 mm. After the kit is checked and ready, you must check the surgery report. If this is not in the package, you can download it from the Dionabi order site. In this report, you can check the bone type, fixture size, path, numbers, and unusual conditions of the patient. You must also look at the drilling protocol. You can also download it from the Dionabi order site. In the drilling protocol, you must check the offset for each implant and check the exact dimension and details of the implant that will be placed. If you look at the drilling protocol, you can see that Dio's basic offset number is 9mm to minimize mouth opening and optimize the drill's precision. With the implant connector attached to the fixture, if you are placing in a location with a 9mm offset, you have to drill until the bottom of the connector's thick black line reaches the top of the guide sleeve. In a location with a 10.5mm offset, 
You have to drill until the top of the connector stick black line reaches the top of the guide sleeve. And lastly, in a location with a 12 millimeter offset, you have to drill until the top of the connector's edge reaches the top of the guide sleeve. Let's look at the guide sleeve now. There are three types of guide sleeves, narrow, regular, and wide. And there are different surgical kits to those different guide sleeves. These guides are distinguished by the colors. By looking at the colors, you'll be able to decipher the size of the fixture and the kits to use with the sleeve. Narrow implant is placed with a guide that has a yellow sleeve. Regular implant is placed with a guide that has a blue sleeve and a wide implant is placed with a guide that has a green sleeve. And here's a quiz. What implant can I use with this? The answer is wide implant because it's green. This is a surgical protocol that will be included in the package. This tells you what to do, what drills to use in what order. Let's take a closer look. First, you must look closely at these numbers. 100 RPM and 800 RPM. Recommended drill speed for all the drills up to the abutment profile drill is 100 RPM. If you look at number 3 of important drill instructions, you can see that 800 RPM is recommended at very dense bone areas. And cortical bone is very dense, thus drilling in a high speed with the abutment profile. Before you start drilling, check the offset. In this case, it is 9mm. Also check the tooth number, which is usually written on the top of the page. In this case, the tooth number is 36. You can keep drilling up to 3.8 diameter drill, where there is a line, and it says D3 on the bottom. This means that if the bone is softer than a D3 bone, you can stop here and go straight to the abutment profile, and then to placing the implant. However, if the bone is harder, like D1 or D2, drill further to the 4.3 diameter drill, where there is a line with the D1 and D2 written on the bottom, and then drill with the abutment profile drill. Now you are ready to place your first implant using Dionabi. This is it for today. Thank you for listening.